Rihanna is one of the biggest artists in the world right now and she is also one of the wealthiest. Her Fendi line is which is easily one of the largest makeup brands in the world. Anything Rihanna touches turns to gold, and now, she is a billionaire thanks to her endeavors. Kendall Jenner is an American reality television star and fashion model. Kendall Jenner has a net worth of $45 million. Kendall is one of the highest paid models in the world. Her younger sister, Kylie Jenner is named the youngest self-made billionaire of all time in 2019. Kylie Jenner's net worth has declined to $700 million, according to Forbes' estimates as of October 2020. So, what? I'm sure you are aware of all that. The three of them are young and successful. When you think of them you associate them with beauty, style, fashion, makeup, skincare, success, and billions. We know the Jenners are, or were in the past, fans of Rihanna but it is rumored that Rihanna is not sharing the same feelings. What exactly is happening? We are going to make a brief review of the reasons behind Rihanna and Jenner's feud rumors. In 2012 Kendall Jenner was very excited to attend Rihanna's performance in Los Angeles. A few hours before the concert, the Instagram model posted if Rihanna doesn't perform complicated tomorrow I'm gonna get very upset. Hashtag fave song. And Rihanna added a comment well don't come. This sounded very harsh. Also, Rihanna's fans think the Kardashians keep competing and stealing her ideas, like Kylie Cosmetics and Fendi Beauty and accuse them of copying Riri's style. Actually, Rihanna and Kylie Jenner fans are in a messy social media war over their makeup and skin line. There's a theory swirling that Rihanna dropped out of the Victoria's Secret fashion show because of Jordan Dunn who got axed and replaced by Kendall Jenner. Keeping up with the Kardashians' beauty could have been behind Jordan's omission, which allegedly led to Rihanna pulling out. Jordan Dunn, who is friend with Riri, has walked the Victoria's Secret fashion show for the past three years, tweeted, and since deleted, a nasty message saying she's happy she won't be participating anymore, especially since Rihanna has dropped out. Well, this one is spicy, but could it be actually planning Savage X Fenty the reason for Riri to drop versus fashion show? In 2019's Forbes article it is said that Rihanna killed Victoria's Secret, okay, helped killing the business. Rihanna's lingerie brand sits squarely at the center of business and culture in the $13.1 billion women's underwear sector, leaving Victoria's Secret hard-pressed to replicate this model. Victoria's Secret show is a fantasy and essentially people don't have any interest in a TV special for plus sizes. One can easily see how Rihanna's brand having all the sizes and encouraging confidence and strength by showing lingerie in another light put a nail in Victoria's Secret's fashion show coffin. Okay, let's get back to it, Rihanna and the Jenners may have lack of harmony, but actually, they have a great deal in common. See why. Fendi or Kylie Celebrity beauty products are all the rage and often have loyal patrons that engage with each product. Two of the most popular celebrity cosmetics lines are Fenty Beauty and Kylie Cosmetics. Which one is more successful? Which one do you prefer and why? It came from an insecurity and I turned it into something. I was insecure about my lips, and lipstick is what helped me feel confident. And I feel like people could see that it's authentic to me, and it was organic, and it just worked. Kylie shared the motivation behind launching her brand, it came as an idea after struggling with the appearance of her lips in her teenage years. When I was younger, I had an insecurity with my lips. You have all these ideas of things you want for yourself, and for me, beauty was a natural fit because makeup is such a huge part of my career and image. I wanted to do a line for years, but it needed to be credible, something that industry pros and girls around the world would respect. Rihanna's idea comes after her own need of makeup which is going to be affordable and at the same time not compromising the quality. The release of Rihanna's Fenty Beauty made waves in the beauty industry when it launched with an inclusive range of 40 foundation shades. As a comeback, Jenner revealed that Kylie Cosmetics will release its first line of concealers this month, which announced it will be available in 30 shades. The brands are constantly following each other's steps. Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner was announced in 2019 via the Socialite's personal Instagram account, by which, she's managed to speed up to the finish line before Rihanna could unveil the Fenty Skin imprint she submitted to the Patent Bureau. In a YouTube video for her own YouTube channel, Kylie Jenner starts off her routine by removing her makeup and applying one pump of Kylie Skin Foaming Face Washington Exchanging Lash Extensions for Eye Cream and Heavy Bronzer for Vitamin C Serum, Jenner knows that skincare and makeup go hand in hand, as she wrote in an Instagram post in 2019. After Rihanna released Fenty Skin, she posted her entire nighttime skincare routine in a promotional video for the line. 
The section is titled Go to Bed With Me and it features her talking about her entire nighttime makeup removal and skincare routine through, which she has been able to maintain her flawless skin and it is safe to say, we are all trying to glow like that. Nowadays, Rihanna net worth revealed as she's dubbed billionaire as her Fendi Beauty line out earns Kylie Jenner's Kylie Cosmetics. After their first calendar year, the line was bringing in more than $550 million in annual revenues, Forbes revealed, beating out Kylie Jenner's Kylie Cosmetics, Kim Kardashian West's KKW Beauty and Jessica Alba's Honest Company. Boyfriends It seems that the Jenners and Riri have a lot in common when it comes to relationships. Travis Scott has had quite a happening dating life before he started dating beauty mogul, Kylie Jenner. The rapper dated Rihanna for a while and things didn't pan out the way he wanted but reportedly Scott was really serious about the Barbadian singer. Travis and work singer were reportedly dating back in 2015. Rihanna was photographed attending a number of Scott's concerts, and even tapped the rising star to feature on her 2016 album, Anti. There are rumors, unconfirmed, Rihanna was embarrassed about dating Travis Scott which is why they kept things private. The following year, Scott began dating Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner is now pregnant with Baby No. 2 and Travis Scott are parents to three-year-old Stormy Webster. BFFs And last one, we left for desert, BFFs. There was a bestie brawl over and the claws were out between Rihanna and Kendall Jenner, who were both vying to be the BFF of the fashionate girl. Back in 2015. Well, if my best friend is your best friend, we are automatically pronounced at least friends, right? While their friendship is certainly more than partying, Rihanna and Cara Delevingne clearly know how to have a good time together. In honor of Rihanna's 30th birthday, Delevingne posted to Instagram a collage of the pair having a good time, writing, happy belated birthday Robin you dirty 30 year old. Time has flown by since we first met and wow has it been a wonderful roller coaster. Cheers to all the mind blowing memories and all the ones to come. Love and miss you always 30. The pair is there for each other not just personally but professionally as well, with Delevingne walking the runway at Rihanna's 2020 Savage X Fendi show. Let us remind you that lots of ex Victoria's Secret Angels walk the show this year, Adriana Lima, Viati Prince Lou, Gigi Hadid. Who was not invited to the party? Who wasn't there to perform not a traditional march down the catwalk, but a Broadway show? Well, Kendall Jenner. Rihanna has always been so lovely and such a good friend. I am in awe of her and just so proud, Delevingne said. For her friendship with Kendall, Kara shared, Honestly, I had low expectations for friends in this industry because, A, I didn't think people would want to be my friend, and B, I didn't know if making friends through this process would be fickle or seem not real. So I was pleasantly surprised. Kara added, I didn't meet Kendall until I had been modeling for a bit. We had done a few shows together and didn't say a word to each other. Eventually, we started talking and I was like, oh, we're all right. We should hang out after this. Kendall and Kara become so close they even coined the name Kake, which is a combination of the first names. Discovering that your best friend is close to someone else or that they don't consider you their best friend can be upsetting. And it definitely can be when you are Rihanna and you have to share Cara Delevingne with, well, Kendall Jenner. Well, seems like Jenner sisters and Rihanna have a lot to strive to outdo for. They have a history of having same affinity not only in business, but in their personal life so lots of reasons not to be a fan of each other. We hope their paths cross more because that is always interesting, we make sure to keep you updated. Thank you for watching, hit the subscribe button for more burning ears.